Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back on the free to play. I think it's been a minute since I did a an update video. So I might end up going over some stuff you already are aware of. If you've been in the streams, maybe you've seen a little bit more of this. But I feel like we've got a lot to catch up on because I don't think I've done an update video in quite a few. So let's take a look at our roster and talk about what all we got going on. We went ahead and six starred Ophelia because she helped us out in the 2A Sath dungeon. We were able to do level four which is pretty cool to be able to farm level four relatively easily on our first 2A. That's kind of dope. We have, uh, we six-starred Charlotte. I think I think maybe we did that in a video already. And then Sath is about to be max level. So we have our, our GB12 team running. We can jump in real quick and take a look at it. It is about, it seems to be like a 95% success rate. I think I've, I've run quite a bit of it. And I think I've only failed like twice. So, so far it's been pretty reliable. It's very sloppy. It's very sloppily built. So I'm going to show you everything in hopes that maybe it, it'll, it'll ease your mind a little bit if you're very new in the game and you're working on this team and you're thinking you're so far away from it. You're really not. You're really not that far off. It's really not that hard to get going, especially with some of the runes that the game gives you. So, um, they're doing their thing. Maybe they'll fail during this video and maybe they won't. I don't know. Uh, it, it definitely can fail. Um, excuse me, but like I said, so far it's been pretty consistent. We've, we've been we've been raking in the runes, so we're going to be able to start making some changes on some of these units pretty soon. But anyway, let's let's take a look at the at the units on the team real quick. So Vero, we've got him in a violent set that the game gave us, and then these energy runes I either got from farming or somewhere else, but these are runes that I acquired. Most of the runes that I have that are maxed right now, the game gave me. You know how the game gives you a handful of runes that are already maxed, so he's in a violent set that the game gave me at some point. Uh, Armelia is in a violent set. Again, some of it we acquired from different places, and, and some of it the game gave us. She's not ideal. She's got an attack rune here, but it's what I've got, right? I need to have her in that focus set. So uh, that, that's what she's looking like. But but there's there's things to be fixed on her. She doesn't even have all her artifacts yet. Uh, let's see, what else? The second melee is only five starred. She's on a swift set. We've just got her on HP, HP defense, because again, that's what we've got. We put her on the swift set because we didn't have another way to get her set up and hit the stats we needed to hit. So the swift set helps us be fast enough. She's got a decent amount of HP and still a good amount of accuracy. So, so she's fine for now, all right? And then our Sath, very sniffly all of a sudden. Our Sath, we have on Shield, Will, Energy, and he's on Speed, HP, HP. It's a four-star rune. It's not a great rune. None of these runes are, are, are like through the roof quality-wise or anything. Uh, and this is what he looks like. Decent amount of HP. Fast enough, and then that's it. He doesn't really have any accuracy or anything, but he's really only there to double the dot damage, right? So that, that's what he's looking like. And then uh, Tattoo is on double will, and I had to really fight to get her on double will. And then she's on uh, she's on HP, HP defense. Again, not ideal, but it's what we've got. So we've got her on double will energy. And uh, she is very squishy. She is just fast enough. And then again, no accuracy or anything like that. So it's very sloppy. In a perfect world, I'm going to have both of them on like double will shield. And and then I'm going to get my other Melia on violent. And then I'm going to get them on the right stats. So there's lots of improvements to be made. And I reckon we're not really too far off from having it be 100% success rate. I just got some things to tweak. But you can see nothing about anything that's going on here is really that difficult to achieve. So you, you, you got a 2A your Sath, which can be tough, but I just did a video about how to farm higher levels in the 2A dungeon. So I'll card to that up there. Hopefully I will remember to add that card uh, and you could check that out and maybe it'll help you farm a little bit higher dungeons than, you're, than, you're, than you think you're able to farm right now. So I'm uploading a video, so my game lagging a little bit. Anyway, what else? What else is there to catch up on? Our Summoner's Way, we are done with the Giants one. We're going to probably move on and start progressing through the Steel Fortress one because this team also works in Steel Fortress. And uh, yeah, other than that, we're, we're, we're just grinding through here as we're able. I got to clear a hard stage in Labyrinth, but I have to do that at reset because I've used all my lab fights. 
you can see like who all we've been working on. We've been making a lot of food, trying to get a lot of stuff done. I considered trying to use Ivor instead of Tattoo for my explosion. I thought that would have been kind of fun, but I have no skill up center and the cooldown on this is five turns. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll still give it a shot, but I just feel like Tattoo is, is like, she's the way to go. So that's, that's that. If the event had been live, if I'd have thought about it sooner, I would have used some of my coins to give her some skill ups in that event and perhaps gotten the cooldown here. But she needs a lot, man. That's a lot of skill ups to really only care about the cooldown here. You know what I mean? So like perfect world, she only needs three, but otherwise she needs a shit ton. So I don't know. There's no reason not to just use tattoo, honestly. She's very easy to get. She's very easy to skill up. She's incredibly effective. And then when you two A her especially, you know, you're going to knock about a minute off the team. I think my team's averaging like a minute 50 right now. And if, so that was 226. And you see our best is 140. So there's a wide range. When I get Tattoo 2 aid, it knocks it down in like a minute. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do that at some point. But I don't, I don't think it's like top of my priority list just yet. I got to get the runes sorted out for the rest of the team. And that's that. As far as our events go, how are we doing? And, and yeah, I guess I need to like now start thinking about what my next focus needs to be. What's the next thing I want to focus on? Because now it's just a matter of acquiring the runes. I could consider go ahead and going ahead and just knocking out the tattoo 2A and just being done with it. Um, I have Ophelia to run on that team. I'm gonna need more fire units though, because isn't tattoo the one? Isn't the pixie the one where they all have to be the same element? Which one is the pixie even? Alunia, perhaps. Yeah. I just want to see. Yeah, only monsters are the same attribute. So, if I'm wanting to do tattoo, definitely Ophelia. She was really, really helpful. She was really helpful in there. I did pull her runes off to spread around my GB12 team because that's the priority. So all my runes that are necessary have to go to that team. But she was really, really helpful in there. So we'll get some gear thrown back on her. Tattoo, I guess Sath. Would be helpful and then i guess one of these two perhaps and we'll see how it goes yeah maybe we'll, maybe we'll see how it goes anyway that's that's a that's kind of a ways off though we've got a little bit before we start worrying about all that stuff so that's it it's kind of like our first big thing our first big milestone hit we've got our gb12 team sorted again it's like mostly reliable it's not a hundred percent yet but it's like this close couple of more tiny improvements i think we're going to be there and then it's just a matter of getting the extra violence set the other shield and will sets and, and getting those put on the team all right so otherwise it's just been a lot of grinding i've been doing a ton of glory point farming and i haven't really spent any yet we're at currently uh 4251 and we are still getting our devil mon so i'm just kind of letting them pile up Mostly because I'm just kind of curious to see the number go up while, while we have this blessing and we're getting the bonus points and stuff. I'm just I'm just farming it the hell out of arena. Every now and then I'll use crystals on refills even and just keep going and uh, just kind of seeing how many we get. I might end up starting to use them soon because they're going to be pretty helpful. I do want to go ahead and get that guard stone done. Just get it behind me so I don't have to think about it anymore. And then we'll decide which towers we want to start working on from there. But that's it. That's that's everything we got going on in the account right now. It's just been a lot of getting this Giants team ready to Aang, Sath, and playing around in Arena as we've been able. So from here, I reckon it's time to start maybe thinking about our next fusion. I'm considering fusing Sig. I think Sig's going to be a great help for us in Dragons, and I also need to get a Verd used so i'm probably about to be in the fusion hexagram a little bit i can grab 
I still have all of my options too from the event. And I've already got Water Ninja and Water Marshal Cat. So I can grab the two of them. And then who do I have for this one? Anybody? Fire Viking, I'm sure I have. So yeah, I could I could like I could grab the three that I don't have for the panda. And then Yeah, so I'm really I really only need to fuse one more net four to do two more fusions. So some combination of Sig and Panda are gonna be happening soon. We'll figure that out. Maybe we'll pop some scrolls just to see if we can manage to snag any of them. And uh, go from there. Actually, yeah, we'll hold off. We'll hold off on that. We'll do that soon though. And just see if we can't get lucky and grab any of the fusion food. And then we'll jump in there and, and start knocking those out. And then we'll start working our way into Dragon a little bit. We're gonna farm Giants pretty much nonstop. In the meantime, get our rune quality up and see if we can start working on transitioning into Dragon. So that's it. That's the update on what we've been working on. Um, you know we clear TOA, we're working on TOA hard. We are currently up to 48. So, and we're about to start getting higher now because we've got some more units at our disposal. So anyway, that's it. We'll be back soon with another update. Probably be back soon with a little summon session too, just to see if we can't snag some of that fusion food. And, uh, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. So that's it. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.